another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince. I'm an Army veteran. And today we're going to talk about how you can view or change your dependence on your VA disability benefits. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content for Vet Talk here on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Reddit for more content. And if you're a veteran love to share your story or resource for veterans and a non-veteran who would love to share your resource for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. And... Today is Memorial Day, so I want to give a special shout out to all those family members out there who may have lost a loved one during this time. I understand that it may be tough. I know it may be hard. I know it may be difficult. But one thing I want you to know is that the fruit of God's spirit is peace, one of them. So I pray that God gives you the peace and grants you the peace that you need to deal with this day that we remember those who died and gave up their lives for our freedoms, for our rights. Moment of silence. Now that we got that moment out the way, let's get into this topic, man. So I want to start out by giving credit to this veteran group um, on Reddit. And the reason why I'm doing this is because a lot of the information that I'm putting out, I know a lot of this material, but there are sometimes um, information that I've forgotten about because the process for me has ended some years ago. So once I was able to fight for the things that I needed, I kind of walked away from just the whole VA process, VA benefits and all these things. So there are a lot of things that I forgot about, but because I'm in groups on read it in different places, it draws information back up out of me. And I'm able to help you, the veteran, because like I always say in my videos, I didn't know what I know without somebody else helping me. So it's just each one, teach one, let's pass this information along. Let's help each other out. One team, one fight. Let's do this thing together because alone, we can't do it. But together, we can do all things. So this is how we're going to do this. So I just wanted to give credit to them because they brought up the topic. And in this topic, I mean, in this um, group discussion, you can see a gentleman who helps out other veterans or maybe a lady, I can't tell who it is because everybody use um, screen names or whatever. It says um, that he have seen or she have seen so many claims this week where veterans waited years to add his dependents and lost out on a metric ton of money. Um, Conversely, today, I have had a veteran who filed for a 686C years ago, long before they ever hit 30%. And because of that, the second he hit 30%, we were able to immediately pay him for his dependents. So this is the main reason why you want to make sure that you do that. And I'm one of those veterans who didn't understand nor know anything about that. And when I first started receiving 90% disability, I was only be paying, only being paid for my wife at the time. I had three sons. I had two stepsons and my biological child. And at the time, I like, like I always say, I didn't know nothing about VA benefits because at during 2013, there was limited information out there about benefits. I only knew about benefits or something sort of kind of about benefits because I had sleep apnea severely. And I was told during my, um, sleep study, and launched through um, when I was stationed in Germany that I would be receiving 50% disability if I had severe sleep apnea. So being that I had limited to no information about the VA, the process, and what I was entitled to and all these other um, things, I was just kind of like clueless as to what I was going to be receiving. I didn't even know. One day, like I like to tell people my story, I, at the time I was on drugs and... I needed some money for some weed um, and some cigars. And I would just so happen to um, be sitting in my house um, that was unfurnished, just sitting there trying to figure out like, man, how am I going to get this money to go get a cigarillo? And for some reason, I was like, you know what? Let me go look at my um, USAA account. And when I opened up my phone and I seen $9,600 in my account, I almost lost my mind because, again, I didn't know. I was going to be being paid disability because I didn't know nothing about VA disability. I didn't know nothing about um, 
being compensated and the different ratings and at what, you know, um, percentage, um, they pay you what amount of money, like all these different things. I knew nothing about it. The only thing I knew before getting out, like I said, was that I was going to get 50% for sleep apnea. And I remember before getting out, my dad told me to file, you know, my paperwork with the VA to let them know that I was getting out and submit, you know, things that I had going on at the time. So again, that was limited information that I had. And this is why I wanted to do vet talk because I wanted to make sure that what I didn't know, you know, and if you do know, we can all come together, help each other out and make sure that every veteran is being taken care of. So let's get back into this topic. So right here, as you can see, um, you can see view or change dependence on your VA disability benefits. Find out if you're eligible and how to add dependent spouses, children, spouse, children, or parents to your VA disability for additional compensation. You can also sign into VA.gov to view dependents currently added to your benefits. So right here, if you trying to figure out, um, basically, am I eligible for additional VA disability compensation for one or more of my dependents? And it says right here, you may be eligible for additional disability compensation for a qualified spouse, children, and our parents, if you meet both of these requirements, both must be true, according to the VA. You're eligible for VA disability compensation, and you have a combined disability rating of at least 30%. That's why the gentleman state that is beneficial for you to ensure that if you are not 30%, go ahead and get your dependents listed and, you know, put on the VA website, even though, yes, they may deny you compensation for it. But at least make sure that all of these things are in your records so that once you do reach 30 percent, you're being paid for everybody that rely on you, rely on you as the veteran. It says adding a dependent may make you eligible to receive a higher compensation payment, also called a benefit rate. And, and so now we're going to answer who is, who does the VA consider a dependent? A dependent is a spouse. No. Nope. We, re we recognize same sex and common law marriage. It says a parent, if you are directly caring for them and their income and net worth are below a certain amount. It says an unmarried child, including an adopted child or stepchild who meets one of the eligibility requirements listed below to be considered a dependent. One of these must be true of an unmarried child. They're under 18 years old. That's one. So if you have a child that's under 18 years old, they can be your dependent or a dependent. They're between the age of 18 and 23 and enrolled in school full time. So if you have a child that's between the age of 18 or a dependent that's between the age of 18 and 23 and they're currently enrolling to full time school, then you can claim them as your dependent. They became permanently disabled before they turned 18 years old. That's the other requirement. And it says um, right here, what should, uh, when should I add a dependent to my benefits? It says this depends on where you're in the process of filing for disability compensation. If you haven't yet filed a claim for disability compensation, you can file for additional compensation for a dependent at the same time you file your original claim for disability compensation. If you receive a combined disability rating of at least 30%, we automatically consider your eligibility for additional compensation for your dependents. And right here, you say, find out how to file for disability compensation. You can click on that and they can show you exactly, you know, what you need to do and how you go about doing it. And it says, if you have one or more dependent, but you didn't claim them when you originally filed for disability compensation, if you have a combined disability rate of at least 30%, you can file a claim for additional disability compensation now. If you if something changes in your family status after you receive a combined disability rate of at least 30 percent, you can file a claim for addition, um, additional disability compensation whenever you add a dependent. 
you can add a dependent if you get married, you have or adopt a child. Your child is between 18 and 23 years old um, and enrolled in full, school full time. We determined that your child who is at least 18 became permanently disability, um, disabled before 18, turn 18, you become the caregiver of a parent whose income and net worth is below a certain amount. So right here, you can see how to view current um, dependents and how to add dependents to your VA disability. So here on the VA.gov website, they have boxes and questions and different things that can help you out. But I just really want to go through it with you because I know some people are like me, they visually or they audibly need to hear somebody else read it, read over these things. And, you know, it helps out a whole lot, man. So I just really wanted to go over this with you so that you can make sure that, you know, you're getting everything that you're entitled to. Because, again, this can be additional funds in your pocket and you don't want to miss out on the opportunity um, to be able to get what's um, due to you as the veteran or as a family member. So this has been an episode with your boy, Brother Vince, for Vet Talk. As always, great people, Vet Talk out. <laughs>